shoot the shoot is definitely an episode. It's balls. It's balls. Now you can hear the new sound effect that I just put on my soundboard. You look disappointed. I look disappointed? I think that's just my face. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the podcast. This episode... This is an episode. This is episode 219, 219, I believe. Uh, yeah, we're, we're back, dude. And if you'll notice, I remembered my headphones this week. Yeah, dude, I remember my headphones. So now I can hear the people cheering. Uh, yeah, man. Welcome, welcome back, dude. We got a good episode this week. We got a nice one. Uh, happy long weekend. I mean, by the time you're listening to this, it'll be long gone, but um, feeling good, man. It's a, it's a Monday today, but it's a, um, it's like a holiday, I guess. So um, nobody is here, okay? Nobody's here at the office space, the studio space, wherever this fucking building is. Um, because I, like I, I've said this before, but, um, there's like other businesses in this off in this building. So, um, I try like really hard to come here, like after like working hours because I don't want to be like, you know, Oh, e fucking dick. You know, when people are like on a uh, conference call. So I'm usually here at like 9 p.m. and I get home at like 11 and then I'm sending footage and that takes like an hour. I don't, I'm not done till like fucking midnight. So, but I'm here at like fucking 5 p.m., dude. Well, it's 6 p.m. So it's crazy. Energy levels are high. Okay. I got a coffee. Thank God Tim Hortons was still open because I was going to freak the fuck out if they were closed. Okay. Oh, it's a holiday. Shut up. Papa needs his, Papa needs his coffee. Okay. Daddy needs his drinky, all right? Um, feeling good, man. Feeling productive. Had a good day scripting today. I'm trying to finish the script this week for another video. Um, I'm trying to film it, too, this week. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'm trying to do as much YouTube stuff as I can this week. Um, you know, just because... Uh, Fuck, man. I'm, uh, that was fucking embarrassing. I wish that wasn't on camera. Um, but this week I'm trying to focus on YouTube stuff because next week I'm going, I'm going comedy special mode, dude. Um, I'm going to be rehearsing and I'm going to be getting everything, uh, all ready for, uh, my comedy special that is filming, uh, on Friday, June 2nd. So that's a week and a half from now, and I'm really nervous, okay? If I'm going to be candid, all right, if I'm going to be honest and earnest here, I'm really nervous. If I can be earnest, I'm feeling nervous. I'm Curtis, I'm, er- I'm Curtis being earnest, and I'm nervous. I'm Curtis, and I'm being earnest. My name is Curtis, and, and my name is Curtis, and if I'm being earnest, I'm feeling pretty nervous, because my name is Curtis. Um, Because, yeah, man... Um, it's, it's weird. Cause like, well, one, this is like the most expensive production that I've ever done. I've never, because you know, cause how YouTube videos are free to make and to upload. Um, so I'm, I'm operating at a very, you know, a very good, um, you know, expenses to, uh, compensation ratio, I guess. Um, so it's weird when I have to put on like an actual production and, you know, hire a cameraman and rent out cameras and lighting and, and carpenters, dude, and designers and, and, and like hair and makeup and shit, directors, producers, all that shit. It adds up like crazy. Um, so I'm like, fuck, I better nail it, uh, for that. And two, um, I've never really, I've put out like, I put out a comedy album in like 2016. I think it's on Spotify still. I'm not, I don't like it anymore. Um, 
but I still get the message here and there from people saying that they enjoy it. So I don't think I would ever want to take it off for people who do like listening to it for whatever reason. Um, and that's pretty much the only thing I've put out. And that was like back before I had like this number of people, um, subscribe to me. So it's like, um, it's going to be, it's, I'm nervous to like put it out and for people to see it because, um, obviously I've had like amazing feedback from the live shows and stuff. Um, you know, and I'm really confident in this hour, but you know, it's just like a lot of people haven't seen me do stand up. A lot of people haven't, um, I just haven't put any footage out there. So it's like, it's going to be a big, uh, you know, I hope people like it. I hope people enjoy it, especially because like I can take a, you know, I can take a, some, I could take some negative comments on a YouTube video. Cause it's like, fuck it. You know, I'll just put, I'm gonna put out another one next, like in another fucking couple of weeks. So it's fine. You know, but it's like, if I got a negative comment with my stand up, I don't know. Cause I so near and dear to me, you know, <laughs> I've done so much of it. Um, I don't know why that, that, that would hurt my feelings so much more, but you know, we'll see. I'm excited. We got two shows that I'm doing. They're both sold out. Cha-ching. Um, I still, I forgot to add the fucking cha-ching sound effect to this. Um, but they're both sold out. Um, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be really cool. I got some, I got a bunch of friends and family coming out and you know, I, I'm excited. I'm excited to, to put, to record my first special in Toronto. You know, it's going to be fucking cool. So I'm excited, but next week I'm going special mode, dude. We got, and we got some fucking exciting shit coming up for people. I don't know if I can say this yet, but we got some cool stuff happening before the special as well for people in Toronto. If it goes through, if it works out, if not for, uh, ignore that I'm saying this, but, um, yeah, we got some cool stuff who for people who are coming to the show and people who weren't able to get tickets. So just keep your fucking uh keep your fucking ears or your eyes peeled, okay? Peel your fucking eyes out of your head. Peel them out, grab them. Pull your eyes out of your head. There's bugs there's bugs behind your eyes. There's bugs behind your eyes. There's bugs behind your eyes. Get them out, okay? I said bungs. What's that? All right, bro. We got some topics to fucking cover. Also, shout out to the Patreon. Um, I'm doing a bonus episode right after this. So if you guys haven't checked out the Patreon yet, go to patreon.com slash very, really good, or just click the link in the description. It's pretty good, man. We got a bunch of bonus episodes on there. You know, as soon as you join, you immediately gain access to like 40 bonus episodes, dude. So if you ever need to fucking pound out a bunch of content on like a road trip or some shit, 40 Bonus episodes there, dude. We're doing a big Q&A special on there. Um, Going to be answering a lot of questions and stuff. So, And those are always fun because um, I feel like I never do those. It's very, or it's that's, it is very like early 2014 YouTuber core to do that, you know, like a Q&A tag. You know, remember when they used to say, I got the boyfriend tag. We're going to ask, I'm going to ask my boyfriend how big his balls are. And he's like, ah, what? <laughs> I didn't think that was. One of the questions, and she's like, "How big is your left nut?" And he's like, "I don't." Kid, there's like kids who watch this. I don't think I should be answering. And eh, wrong. It's three millimeters. He's like, it's, "I told you that in confidence, dude. That'd be crazy having like mini M M&M and M sized balls, but the same size sack, like an average sized ball sack, but the tiniest balls." Like an like like fucking like tic tac size balls. You ever just think about that? <laughs> you ever just think about that? Sometimes I do. A little itty bitty balls, big penis, big penis, average sack, tiny balls. It's the perfect. This is a perfect. It's the perfect private parts. <laughs> okay. Um. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, go check out the Patreon if you haven't, because that'll be fun. Um, but let's get into some fucking topics, shall we? We got a lot to cover, dude. Um, so, okay, yeah, the first topic I wanted to talk about. Hold on, let's... 
Okay, I recorded for 10 minutes already, dude. Time is flying by, and it's never, never stop. It's never ending. It's never ending. I'm fucking 29, dude. What the fuck? Time. It's crazy. <sighs> Enjoy it. Enjoy your youth. Okay. Um, dude, Little. this is a pretty interesting story that um, I have some pretty strong opinions about, but... Um, so there's this Twitch streamer named Amoranth. Amoranth. How the fuck do you? How do you say that? How do you say this? How do you say that? Amaranth. Is that it? I feel like that's. I've heard that before. I've heard people say it like that. Twitch streamer Amaranth now has an AI bot you can chat with. Um, Caitlin Siragusa's new artificial intelligence chatbot is always around to satisfy the needs uh, Sorry, let me read it one more time. Uh so Amaranth new Amaranth's new artificial intelligence chatbot is always around to satisfy the needs uh, of her fans. Couldn't have picked another fucking, uh, you couldn't have picked anything else, dude. Oh, awesome. A fucking ad. Good. What are these? Fucking cat food. Cool. Hey, get off my screen. How about, you know what I mean? Okay, let's read this. Uh, Caitlin Amaranth Siragusa is many things. A regular popular, a mega popular, regular. What am I fucking... A mega popular Twitch streamer, a successful businesswoman, an OnlyFans creator, and now an AI chatbot you can engage with through a two-way audio application when she's not online. Okay. Amaranth, who was banned and unbanned on Twitch earlier this month, has partnered with... Also, yo, can Twitch stop doing that shit? Or call it another name. Whenever I see these fucking tweets, it's like, Hassan Piker was just banned from Twitch. You read that, you're like, oh, okay, well, he's never streaming on Twitch again. He's fucking banned. And, like, next day, they're like, he's been unbanned. Hey, call it something else. Call it fucking detention or something. Detained. Hassan has been detained, right? Or, like, fucking suspended. Keep banning people, but, like, change the name. (laughs) Okay? That's not the issue. All right. Um, okay, so Amaranth te- part. Okay, so Amaranth partnered with the Telegram-run chatbot company Forever Voices AI to release AI Amaranth, an artificial intelligence companion that will always be around if you want to talk. As reported by Dexerto, AI Amaranth can answer any fan's burning questions in a voice that sounds very much like hers. It's kind of creepy. Dude, yeah, that is fucking weird, dude. With AI Amaranth, fans will receive instant voice responses to any burning questions they may have, whether it's a fleeting curiosity or a profound desire. Uh, Amaranth's... Okay, sorry. Whether it's a fleeting curiosity or a profound desire, Amaranth's AI counterpart will be right there to provide assistance. Dude. And, like, real quick, um, I hate that. It's sort of like a, that's literally sounds like a Black Mirror episode. Um, listen, I'm not here to be like, you know, I'm not here to criticize a, you know, a girl boss winning, you know. I'm not here to fucking take a dump on someone's business ideas, but. I just think it's fucking weird, you know? I think, especially Twitch streamers who are, like, people feel like they're so connected to them, you know? Like, more so with YouTubers. Um, Like, Twitch streamers, you're spending so much time with them. You know so much about them. You're watching their streams all the time. You're giving them money, right? It's like, people feel, I feel like the parasocial shit is so much worse with with Twitch streamers. So, this is just, like even crazier to be like, yeah, I w-. if you're like these person, like if this, someone like meets this Amaranth person is like, and they're like, uh, yeah, so, uh, I got the job. And they're like, what are you talking about? What job? 
And the person's like, no, well, we were talking about it. We were talking about it last night on the AI thing. That's you, right? You know, like fucking, I just think that's a little unhealthy. I think, I think it's a little weird, but hey, who knows? Um, Forever Voices AI wants to democratize access to influence. Also, yeah, didn't, okay. Never mind. They want uh, Forever Voices AI wants to democratize access to influencers. Company founder and CEO John Mayer, okay, super close to John Mayer, dude. If it was, if it was John Mayer doing this, that'd be a, a wild career pivot. <laughs> mm. So John Mayer told Bloomberg in a May 19 interview that everything started with him wanting to reconnect with his late father through AI using his voice and personality. Okay, well, that's that's nice, I think. By, implement, by implementing proprietary layers like a personality engine that can exhibit feelings and insights alongside a voice engine that can replicate intonation and inflection off just 10 minutes of audio... Meyer said Forever Voices AI can democratize access to an influencer's likeness so their fan base can interact with them on the regular. No! Guys, stop. Stop it. We need to stop. We need to stop this. What the fuck? So they're signing... It says the the company has signed deals with influencers, including Amaranth and Snapchat content creator Karen Marjorie, to get the rights to their likeness and voice. That's so bad. So they have rights to their likeness. Okay, this is a video. I hope they they play like a demo of the the AI conversation. It all started with. Karen Marjorie was the one that really caught my attention. She now has 18,000 boyfriends through her own AI. Just, have you been surprised by the uptick, the desire to be having these sort of really in-depth conversations with someone you feel that you know? Did she say boyfriends? We've, we've been absolutely astonished. You know, this whole story started with me wanting to reconnect with my late father in AI form, using his voice and his personality. It turned out that was such a powerful technology that we then applied it to... Okay, that's... Um... My shit fucking disconnected. Thank... Perfect, thank God, it fucking disconnected. Just in time. Just in time it disconnected. That's perfect. Thank you. I didn't want to do I didn't want to watch that video anyway. All right. Fucking let's give that another go. To influencers that have these large followings of fans uh, that would love to meet and talk to and interact uh, with these people. And so with our latest launch today with Amaranth, uh, one of the top which okay, I don't give a fuck. Let me see a demo of it. Okay, here we go. An interaction where you can interact with an AI copy of uh, the person you admire most. How do you, in fact, some of the technology we've done here? Show me. From this. Okay, no example. Fucking god damn it, dude. Um. Okay, yeah, I just think it's fucking, uh... oh, someone made a video. A conversation with AI Amaranth. As fond is such a wonderful teddy bear. I love him to death. He's witty, cute, and funny. And of course, I'd love nothing more than for him to hop into my hot tub for a cuddle with me licking my microphone, of course. His- okay. Yeah, that's weird. Um... Yeah, I feel like, like, so people are just going to have, like, audio clips of shit that you never said. Like, how, how would, how is that ever, like, chill? Like, how is, how are people just, like, fine with that, right? I feel like that's so fucked up.
And like, it's already like fucked because I've seen that before. But the fact that it's like you're having a conversation with this fucking robot that's pretending to be a Twitch streamer that like, fuck that, dude. Fuck that. I don't want anybody talking to me. <laughs> okay. Don't make a fucking thing. AI, I, this is my consent right here. Okay. When I, when I get, when I'm old and I die, you can't, don't use my fucking voice for anything. Okay. Don't, I am giving nobody consent. All right. Fuck your bullshit. Fuck your AI bullshit. I don't want my voice to be used for anything. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. That'd be f- super funny, though, for, like, a <laughs> someone, like, if you uh, if you have, like, a friend who you, like, hate talking to, you know, but you're, like, you have to be friends with them. You know, you have to, like, uh, you, you have to fucking, uh, I don't know, because maybe, maybe you have, like, a, maybe you feel bad for them or something, you know, so you're, like, yeah, you should just like use this new app, this new messaging app. My i my uh, iMessage stopped working. Use this app, and it's like the, it's the AI voice thing. It's like yeah, you could just we just send audio messages here though. That's it. That's all that works. <laughs> He's like, uh, oh wow, this is wow. Thank you. This is uh, this is amazing. Yeah, it's just like if I introduce myself as AI Curtis, it's like a joke. It's like a bit. Dude, yeah, I I think I said this in my AI video that I, or my Christmas video that I did last year, but we, I think we need to slow down a little with this AI shit. Like, it, it's weird because I, I use it sometimes to, like, help out with my my workflow, as they call it, or my creative process, I guess, you know, like, you know, like, I'll, uh, so, like, there's a thing that lets me remove a background on a video, it uses AI, um, there's a fucking other shit I use, (laughs) yeah, there's, like, there's some stuff I do use that includes AI, but, like, I feel like that's like a whole new fucking thing, dude. Like that's like a whole, whole other can of beans that we shouldn't, or a can of worms that we shouldn't really be opening, right? Um, I don't want to talk to a worm, right? What would a worm even fucking, what what would an AI worm even say to me? You know? Or like, hey, got any, got any mud, you know? Okay, never mind. Never mind. If an AI can make a po- a full podcast with a, with every with like two guys and they're wor- and the guys are worms, I'd listen to that. Worm po- the worm pod, you know, It'd be called like wormhole or something. They'd be like, so let's talk about our favorite. We're doing a tier. We're gonna do a tier list of mud today. And the guy's like, okay, it's a long time coming. Uh, but first off. You gotta take a, get a word from our sponsors, and this, they're like, "This is uh, sponsored by Me Undies. We don't wear, we don't wear them. We don't fucking wear them because we're worms." And then that's the end of the ad, and they go back to ranking mud. Anyway, um, I'm trying to think of like other silly ways to use like an a like an AI bot for someone. You know, you could make one of, like, your mom if you're in school, and then she could, like, you can get her to, like, call the, um, call the school and be like, he's sick. He's sick again. He's sick every day. He's sick again. Sick every day of school, and you're going to give him an A+. And they go, okay, okay. All right. You sound just like a worm, by the way. (laughs) Um, but hey, 
We love to see a girl boss winning, I guess, you know? Um, all right, there's another... Uh, well, let's change the subject here. Hold up. Hold up, guys. Don't don't skip off the podcast. Hold on. Don't do it. Thank you. Um, okay, this other thing we're going to talk about. It's like, um, it's this thing has been going fucking viral, bruh. It's going absolutely viral, okay? It's going absolutely pandemic mode, okay? Viral. Um, it pretty much, I saw it on Twitter. Ah! Started yelling at me, dude. Shut up. Um, okay, so this is going pretty viral. This this TikTok is going viral on Twitter. Okay, so let's um let's give it a watch and then we'll then we'll talk about it. Okay. Hi guys, this is me finding an eight thousand dollar couch in the middle of the street. Here's a quick story time. It was pouring raining and I was walking home and I saw this couch in the middle of the street and I called my dad begging him to come pick it up because I couldn't wow. just leave that couch there. He told me no, it was not possible. But then he surprised me and showed me that he did pick up the couch and he had it in his work office. But the couch was very dirty, so he said we had to clean it. So we got all the things we needed to clean it: some soap, water, a vacuum, and that's my sister using a little machine thing. And I was very interested in how that worked because I think she was doing it wrong. But as you see, that was me scrubbing my life away to make sure this couch gets as clean as possible. I don't know why she thought that was a good idea, but that's satisfying right there. Very satisfying. And then I got tired, so I let them do all the work. Look how dirty it was. This is the after. We had to let it dry. And we let it dry for a few days. And this is my boyfriend and my dad bringing the couch into my apartment. We didn't know if it was going to fit into the elevator, but it ended up fitting perfectly. This is my couch that I had before. And then this is the after, the couch in its full glory, looking really nice and fit perfectly in my apartment. So, <laughs> um, so everyone was freaking out about that couch because like, um, that's New York, right? I believe that's New York. Yeah. And hashtag NYC, hashtag NYC apartment. Um, dude, that is a nasty, okay, I've, la- okay, I, I've taken, in my lifetime, I've taken, you know, we've, we've, we've got some furniture from the side of the road before, people throwing it out, you know, they don't want it anymore, but you're like, it's still good, right? If it's like wood or something, you know, something that can be like, Something that doesn't have fucking fabric and people's farts farts in them, you know? Even though chairs, I guess they do, but, like, wooden chairs. But, like, you know, or if they have, like, a vase or some shit or a vase, if you will. But, dude, I don't care how. And this is just me, right? This might be a little privileged, and if it is, I'm sorry. But I don't care how clean a couch looks on the side of the road. Fuck that. I am not taking it into my house, okay? And look, I know, maybe that's all people can, you know, that maybe that's all that people can afford. Or, you know, they don't. They can't afford to get a new couch. Shit's expensive. I get it. But like, ugh, dude, people fart and piss and shit. Well, maybe not all that, but they fuck. <laughs> yeah, a couch is a toilet. They fucking fart in there. They jizz on there probably. For sure, there's cum on that couch. And, like, also, I feel like that, hold on, let me get, like, a, is there, like, a close-up? Okay. That's a close-up. I'm searching $8,000 couch. Here's an article. Do they have the name of the... Okay, whether it was a dupe. Okay, where's that? Where's that part? The bubble sofa. Okay. Also, this is probably giving them so much... Fucking, uh... Publicity, dude. Oh, my fucking thing disconnected. Hold on. Also, uh... Fuck, hold on. 
Forgot to put on my... Uh, Oh, Elvis is kissing some girls on the TV. Nice. Um, I forgot to uh, put on my antiperspirant today, so if you got, if you saw some pit stains, sorry. All right, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a comparison. Okay. Okay, so it's got like. Okay. That looks a little that looks different, right? If people who are sorry, if people who are listening, the blue couch that she claims is like uh $8,000, it's got like a bunch of little dots. But the actual one from Rosh Babo Rosh Bow Boys, it's the Rosh Bow Boys. Ah, man, it's... Ah, shit, it's the Rochebo boys. What will they do this time? Guess what? We're designing a, a little, a little, some unique furniture. Ah. No. Yeah, that's right. Sit on it. Sit on this couch I built. <laughs> yeah, dude, look at... Okay. It, this is dots. This is like a mesh pattern, right? I don't know. Yeah, that is not. Oh, it's a dupe. That's a dupe for sure, dude. Dude, yeah, check it out. This looks like a fucking, uh... Um... I don't know, <laughs> but that it's that's different. There's like a bunch of them, and this has got like more spaces in between the. That sucks. L, L. So all that work for a fucking fake, because obviously, no one just throws out an eight thousand dollar couch. You know, you could probably sell it for like what, like even half of what you paid for it, probably. But then again, if you have the money to spend, you know, to buy an $8,000 couch, you'd probably just be like, ah, fuck it. Oh, let's get another one. Um, and obviously, like, maybe if it was, like, um, rural, you know, like a rural, rural American somewhere, rural America somewhere, and you saw, see a couch, you're like, ah, sure, maybe. But, dude, New York City, dude? New York City furniture, you put any fabric outside New in New York City, the streets of New York, that thing is stinky already, dude. New York stinks. It's all good. There's no, and I'm, that's not like a diss or anything. There's no way for New York to not stink. That's the thing. Like in the summertime too, there's like 9 million people on a small island it's going to stink. It's all good. And showed me that he did. And showed and me that he did. So the, I think the, the thing that everyone's freaking out about is like dirty couch on the side of the road, fucking wet on the bottom. Gross. Dirty, fucking filthy couch. Of, I couldn't just leave. They bring it in. They clean it once. And now she's like, oh, perfect. It's ready for my, uh, it's ready for my apartment. Smells a little bit like cum, but I think that's... No, that's how they design it. Yeah. Yeah, Roche Bow Boys, all of their stuff smells like cum. Yo, you didn't know that? <laughs> okay. Oh, now it's eight. And now it's like nine grand, dude. Or unless this is a different one. Dude, this is the replica. This is for sure the one she bought. Dude, all the replicas are blue. Oh, no. They're literally all blue. That sucks, dude. Yeah, that's it. Oh, no. I mean, like, who fucking cares? But, like, 
Yeah, that's got that's got piss and cum on it. That's got that's got fart and cum for sure. All all I'm saying is I hope whoever was jizzing on that couch had tiny tiny balls. <laughs> okay, that's all I'm. Uh, sorry, tiny tiny balls. Sorry about that. Um, holy shit, dude, that sucks, man. But she made an update to all the... Because it went viral. Like I said, it went viral. So she made an update. And let's... Uh, I haven't watched that yet. So let's give that a watch. Oh, fuck. This is a couch update. This is a couch update. The first thing I'm going to address is how long was the couch outside? It was outside for less than 24 hours. When I saw it, it was pouring raining. The next day, in the morning, I went to go pick it up. Well, my father went to go pick it up for me. I'm trying to do this video, but this is outside. Like, are you serious right um, now? <laughs> okay. okay, back to what I was saying. It was brought back to my dad's workplace. We cleaned it, and it sat in his workplace for over two weeks. <laughs> and, like, everyone's saying, It sat in oh, his dirty you know, workspace for more than two weeks, okay? It collected dust and other shit. So it's clean, okay? It was formed within a week, two weeks. It was sitting there for two weeks. If there was bed bugs, we would have seen it. Okay. I feel like... I mean, call me crazy. I might be crazy here. I might be out of line. But I feel like the whole thing with bed bugs is you can't really see them, right? They're like tiny as fuck and they hide and shit, right? You don't really see them until they start like biting you and shit, right? For everyone saying I only did one round of washing, I only recorded five minutes of the whole process that I took to clean the couch. Like, for everyone saying that the couch was thrown out because of bed mm -hmm. bugs or whatever, or whatever species or semen. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I personally think it was thrown out because it has a lot of rips that I've covered with pillows. And it has some stains. I don't know if you could tell. It has some stains there. And it has like a few oh. tears over there. That's why I think okay, it personally was going Okay, there's a little bit of shit. Okay, fine. There's a little bit. Call me crazy. There's a little bit of shit. Oh, sorry. There's a tiny bit of poop that we couldn't get off. But that's fine. Everyone's got that little tiny bit of poop on their couch. I can think whatever y'all want. Everyone still says it looks super dirty, this, this, and that. It's not that it's dirty. It doesn't stink. It doesn't have an odor. It's literally clean. It's just the stains that are on the couch. <laughs> hey, like, that's still dirt, though. It's dirty. It's not dirty, dude. There's just stains on it. What do you mean? What are you talking about? I don't stink, dude. I smell. All right? Dude, I'm not even fucking bleeding. I just have a cut. And there's blood coming out of it. I don't think I'm fucking bleeding, dude. Everyone that's, not from New York, everyone that's not from New York saying, oh my God, they do it out for a reason, they do it out for a reason. It was thrown out in front of a very rich building. So I took the opportunity and brought it in. Rich people throw out all their furniture all the time because they get new furniture every other year. So I saw the opportunity and took it. Uh, that's pretty it's not even though it's not it's the fucking it's it's a fucking dupe it's not even the right one much i think i addressed all the topics that a lot of people were commenting and i could just tell who has bed bugs and who don't <laughs> this is how i styled it nice nice yeah. this is the tag oh anybody wants the tag Tell me it's fake. Damn, maybe I was wrong. Unless they have the fucking tag on it. I'm trying to see if like any of these fucking dupes have like the tag on them. Cause it doesn't look like the fucking thing, right? It looks different. I still think it's fake, okay? Because any any person can just print out a fucking thing and put on it, you know? 
I don't know. But, uh... Hold on, I wanted to read the comments. Rich people can still get bed bugs too. Just keep an eye out. Yeah, for sure. Bed bugs, you can't really see until they spread through your whole house and you're getting bit. It can go unnoticed for years. Yeah, see, I was right. I would get it professionally steamed and reupholstered. Yeah, like that's the other thing too. At least bring it to like a couch cleaner, you know? Oh, shit. That's the $600. Okay, hold on. This is an older version of the sofa, so this type of fabric might not be the newer version, but you can find the fabric on older TikTok videos. Uh, Who knows? Maybe it is. I don't fucking, I don't know. I just don't fucking care. If it's real or not, still gnarly, but um, at the end of the day, this shit happens all the time. She just made a video about it. Now she's getting clowned on. So, and now I'm, now I'm fucking bandwagoning, dude. So, who's really at fault here, her, or or me? You know. Um, fuck, dude. I wanted to do advice. We're already at forty two. All right, let's fucking speed run this shit, and uh, I'll do shitty TikTok of the week in the bonus episode. Maybe I don't know. Um, we could do some advice. Uh, Damn, I need a jingle for my advice segment. Jingle for my advice segment. My advice segment. Jingle for my advice segment. All right. Maybe we'll just do one. Okay. Hi, Curtis. I am a 15-year-old in high school. Last year, I fell in love, and I wanted to marry this boy. 15? Okay. Uh, He broke up with me in November, and I've been in intensive therapy and in and out of psychiatric stays. He's living life and might even have a new girlfriend. I'm doing better. I participated in the school musical, let's go, and have been trying to work on myself, but I can't get him out of my head. We did it for a year and frequently, frequently, frequently talked about growing old together since we shared the same views on almost everything and I thought we were in love. I feel so lost without him, but it's been six months and I feel as though I cannot talk about him to anyone since everyone thinks I should uh, be moved on. My question for you is how do you keep going on with life when you feel so empty without someone and does it get better i've been told it does but lately i've not been feeling it i love you and your videos and you've actually made a huge impact on my life especially in the last few months well i'm happy to help out um one uh it gets better it really does it does get better it gets easier um you know because it, you know, if an, if it's an end of a of a relationship, it is like it's like mourning, right? You're you know you're mourning a you know the loss of this person from your life, right? So it's like it, it can be pretty traumatic, um, and also at the same time, and I don't, and I'm I'm sure you've heard this before, and I don't mean to you know go savage mode, but you're fifteen. Okay, um, you are 15 years old. You are but a child. Um, you've you'll be you'll be okay. I I promise. You just got to keep telling yourself. I got a whole life to, dude. I'm like double your age, dude. I am, and 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 I can and listen to me when I say it's going to get better. It's going to get easier. You're going to find someone so much fucking cooler. Okay, I promise you, you're going to find someone so much fucking cooler than that loser, the loser, the idiot. Okay, you're going to find someone so much cooler and you're going to look back at that and be like, what the fuck? Why was I even bummed about that? You know, trust me, fucking I am telling you the truth. Okay, because it's happened to me. I've been through a breakup, my first breakup. Uh, It was fucking it fucked me up. Okay, but now when I think about it, I'm like, what the fuck was that about? You know? Just, you know, put on some put on a fucking Lizzo song and hang out. I do my hair, no, check my nail. Baby, how you feel? I feel like I do that. You don't even need me, dude. <laughs> Listen to Lizzo, okay? Uh, all right. 
Fucking dude, I should get into therapy. Okay, I'm going to go do the bonus episode now. So if you want to keep this party going, um, we're having the after party over at the Patreon. Okay, so go to patreon.com slash very, really good. Click the description, support the pod, you know, appreciate it. And um, yeah, fucking like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Let me know what you think about the yucky sofa. I don't know. Well, let's, let's chit chat. Um, all right. Thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, I'm sorry if there isn't a podcast next week, but like I said, I'm on comedy special mode, dude. So I'm going to try, but if not, I apologize in advance. Thank you so much for listening. Appreciate it. Take care of each other. Be safe. And I'll see you later. Peace out.